Let's check out the M19 Welcome Decks. Hey everyone, it's VM Campos, Magic Fan. I've got something cool to show you here. I just came from San Diego Comic Con, where I saw and played so much Magic, and I got some interesting things for you here. So first of all, this is the um, this is the Land Station box. It's a reusable, resealable 400 card storage box. Okay, that's cool. But here's the the thing that I want to show you. I got one of each of the welcome decks for Corsa 2019. I got each of the colors. They're monocolored. I'm going to open them up. We'll see what's inside and talk about the cards. Now, this video may look familiar because I did the same thing last year. So if you look up in the corner over here, there's a little reminder to go watch the 2017 welcome deck video. Go check that out. I'll wait. Thanks. Now let's continue with this one. Okay, so these are monocolored decks, and it's got the uh, the character for like that color, a uh, Johnny, Tezzeret, Liliana, Sarkin, and Vivian. So each deck then explains what sort of color identity uh, you are here. As a white mage, you know that true strength lies in cooperation. You command disciplined armies, working as one to overwhelm your enemies. Unity of purpose brings you victory. As a blue mage, your mind is your most powerful weapon. You control the battlefield through illusion, always thinking three steps ahead of your foe. Superior knowledge determines your victory. As a black mage, you seek power at any price. Every advantage comes at a cost, and you will sacrifice whatever is necessary to control the forces of death and darkness. Boundless ambition drives you to victory. As a red mage, you live for freedom. You revel in the chaos of battle, where fire is your weapon and your inspiration. Beautiful, powerful, and impossible to control. Elemental fury fuels your victory. And as a green mage, the natural world is at your command and the power of life itself fuels your magic. Summon enormous beasts to trample your opponents on your way to victory. So what's included in each one of these is a two ready-to-play 30-card decks and a welcome letter. So there are two colors per box. There is at least the color on the box and then a separate random one. So you can play individually a mono color or mix them both up to have a 60-card deck which is a little better multicolored, but it's kind of random what's in here. So we're going to look at each one of these. Now, a couple of quick notes. I'm an old school Magic fan. So uh, one of the things that I like about Magic uh, that has been around uh, for a long time, you can see this on the newest cards versus also older cards, is the back. And the back reveals something that I've always liked. The color pie here represents the classic allied colors and enemy colors. So colors that are next to each other are friendly. Colors that are far from each other are not. So blue and white have traditionally been friendly colors, but white and black have not. So I'm kind of old school like that. I like the old, uh, I've been playing a while, and I like the old uh, concepts of friends versus enemy colors. These then are just going to be a little bit random. They may or may not be uh, enemy or friend colors. It's totally random. So we'll see what we get. Um, now, also note here, uh, this signature. This is actually a signature from Mark Rosewater, one of the big wigs in Magic. I met him, and he signed my deck here and a couple of other cards. And I also did a Crack-A-Pack uh, opening boosters with him. Check up here somewhere where it'll show you that Crack-A-Pack video. It was really cool to open a booster pack with the Mark Rosewater. So this, uh, I got it signed. I'm not gonna open it. I got another one here. All right, so let's start with white. Okay, so this came with white and green, which were traditionally um, allied colors. So we've got white. Let's open this one. 
Now every welcome deck is exactly the same. Uh, the color composition, the, the two colors inside are going to be different. But again, because I got a white box, this has at least white and something else. And you can actually get these for free at your local game stores to get started. Let's see what we've got. First of all, a uh, six mana costed 5-5 five, five creature, Angel, Flying and Vigilance. Other creatures you control have Vigilance. This is, um, these cards in here are either going to be reprints or actually exclusive cards. And they are technically part of the M19 set, but any cards past number 280 are exclusive cards. Some of these you will only be able to get in these welcome card in these welcome decks, like this one. 5-5, five, five, Flying Vigilance, and all your other creatures have Vigilance. That's pretty great. Rare. Planes, Oreskos Swiftclaw, 2 mana for a 3-1 Kitty Cat. Planes. Pegasus Cursor, 3 mana for a 1-3 flying creature, and when it attacks, it gives another creature flying until end of turn. Another Plains, Plains, Star Crown Stag, 4 mana, 3-3, three, three, and when it attacks, you can tap an, uh, an opponent's creature. Take Vengeance, for 2 mana, you get a Sorcery, Destroy Target, Tapped Creature. Plains... Mighty Leap for 2 mana instant, target creature gets plus 2 plus 2 and gains flying until end of turn. Loxodon Linebreaker for 3 mana you get a 3-2, Elephant Soldier. Uh, here's one of the other exclusives, uh, Silver Beak Griffin for 2 white mana you get a 2-2 two, two with flying. So uh, some quick flying griffin creature to come at you. Revitalize, 2 mana, you gain 3 life, draw a card. Planes. Knight's Pledge for 2 mana, you enchant a creature and you give it plus 2 plus 2. Another Plains, another Loxodon, Luminous Bonds for 3 mana, you enchant a creature, preferably your opponent's. Enchanted creature can't attack or block. Dwarven Priest for 4 mana, you get a 2-4 and when it enters the battlefield you gain 1 life for each creature you control. Plains, Inspired Charge for 4 mana, creatures you control get plus 2 plus 1 until end of turn. Instant. Planes, Herald of Faith uh, for 5 mana, you get a 4-3, a flyer, and whenever it attacks, you gain 2 life. Another Planes, Sun Sentinel, this is one of the exclusive cards, which is a reprint from an Ixalan card. For 2 mana, you get a 2-2 Vigilance creature. Planes, Rustwing Falcon, for 1 single white mana, uh, you get a flying 1-2 creature. Then you get a little info card, um, learning more about magic on the web, and uh, the phases of the turn, plus then uh, where to put your uh, cards and stuff uh, on the battlefield, and a little info about casting costs of a spell. So that was the white deck, uh, three exclusive cards, and uh, reprint cards plus white mana. This came with a green uh, deck, which is going to be exactly the same as this one over here, at least one green. So let's open that one. It's got these two here again, as usual. Then we've got an aggressive mammoth. This is for six hull mana. You get an 8 8 trample creature. And other creatures you control have Trample. This is the rare card. So all your creatures get Trample for uh, six whole mana. This is one of the exclusive cards, number 302 out of 280. Pretty Forest. Classic Lana War Elves. For one green mana, you get a 1-1 one, one that also creates mana. Um, this is technically one of the exclusive cards. It was last printed in Dominaria, but now it's in the Welcome deck. Forest, Forest, Thornhide Wolves. For 5 mana, you get a 4-5 wolf creature. First there was giant growth, then titanic growth. Uh, for 2 mana, you get uh, target creature gets plus 4, plus 4 until end of turn. At instant speed. Forest, centaur courser, 3 mana, a 3-3 three, three creature. Plummet, for 2 mana, destroy target creature with flying. Forest, ursine champion, uh, two mana, you get a 2-2, two, two, 
with an activated ability of 5 and a green, Ursine Champion gets plus 3 plus 3 and becomes a Bear Berserker until end of turn. Activate this ability only once each turn. Now this is one of the exclusive cards, number 304 out of 280. Spooky Forest, Oaken Form, 3 mana, Enchant Creature, Enchanted Creature gets plus 3 plus 3. Forest, Wall of Vines, for 1 green mana you get a 0-3 defender, meaning it cannot attack, and it has reach, so it can take out flying creatures, or block them at least. Ghast Bark Twins, for 5 mana plus 2 more green, you get a creature, Tree Folk, 7-7, seven, seven, with Trample, and Ghast Bark Twins can block an additional creature each combat. That's the uncommon card, Forest, Rabid Bright. 2 mana, target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. Giant Spider classic card since the early days of magic. For 4 mana you get a 2-4 creature with reach. Forest Forest, another titanic growth. Bristling Boar. For 4 mana you get a 4-3 and it can't be blocked by more than one creature. Forest Colossal Dreadmaw. Um, this is like the fourth printing of this card in the recent sets. Uh, for six mana, you get a 6-6 six, six Trample. Highland Game, two mana, 2-1 two, Elk. When it dies, you gain two life. Forest, Forest, and one more Elf. Now, you might be seeing that there aren't that many duplicates of most cards. Uh, that means there's not a lot of consistency in these decks. Uh, it is what it is. It's a very basic sort of um, kind of deck to not overwhelm people playing for the first time. All right, let's open blue. So in this one, we ended up getting blue deck plus a black deck. Oh, I forgot to say also what's inside here is another uh, welcome thing. Tips for learning and teaching magic. So teaching a friend, keep it simple. You know, don't talk about things like Storm or early on. So right here we get a blue and a black. So that black is going to be exactly like that black. But here we've got the uh, friendly color pairs again. Blue and black were traditionally friends. So let's check this one out. So every deck has at least one rare, maybe an uncommon or two and mostly commons. Riddle Master Sphinx. For six mana you get a 5-5 five five Flyer. When Riddle Master enters the battlefield, you may return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. And this is one of the uh, exclusive cards number 287. Island, Wall of Mist. For two mana, you get a 0-5 Defender. Island, Tolarian Scholar. It's a 2-3 for three mana. Island, Divination. For three mana, you may draw two cards. Island, Island, Snapping Drake. For four mana, you get a 3 2 flyer. Water Knot. For three mana, uh, you enchant a creature. It taps the creature, and then it cannot untap during its controller's untap step. This is an exclusive card, number 311. Uncomfortable Chill. Now, they don't make uh, art like this anymore. Nowadays, it's all like super realistic. Um, so, I kind of wish they still did some of this goofy kind of art. For three mana, creatures. Creatures your opponent controls get minus two, minus zero until end of turn, and then draw a card. Island, Haven Wind Mage. For three mana, you get a two, two flyer, and whenever you cast an instant, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Island, Sleep. For four mana, Sorcery, tap all creatures target player controls. Those creatures don't untap during that player's next untap step, even their horses. Another Snapping Drake. Island, Befuddle, for 3 mana. Target creature gets minus 4, minus 0 until end of turn, and then you draw a card. Exclusive card here, 309 out of 280. Another Water Knot, two of those. Island, Frilled Sea Serpent, for 6 mana you get a 4-6. And if you pay 7 mana, Frilled Sea Serpent can't be blocked this turn. Island, Island, Air Elemental Classic from day 1. For 5 mana you get a 4-4 four, four Flyer plus um, an exclusive card in this set. Divination again, uh, draw two cards. Island, another Scholar, another Island, and a Miscloaked Herald. A one-drop, one-one creature that cannot be blocked. Exclusive number 310. All right, so that was blue. 
It's a lot of card draw and so forth. With black, let's see here. The rare is a Gravewalker for six mana. You get a 5-5 five, five flyer. Then you pay five and black black. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Tapped. Number 293, exclusive. Swamp. Skeleton Archer, love that artwork. For four mana, you get a 3-3, and when it enters the battlefield, it does damage to any target, including your uh, the creature's opponent or planeswalker. Diagraph Ghoul, for one black mana, you get a 2-2, but it enters the battlefield tapped. Swamp, Strangling Spores, four mana, instant. Target creature gets minus three, minus three, until end of turn. Swamp, Walking Corpse, uh, two mana, it's a 2-2. Swamp, Sky March Bloodletter, 3 mana, 2-2, two, two, flying, and when it enters, you lose, target opponent loses 1 life, and you gain 1 life. Lich's Caress, for 5 mana, destroy target creature, and you gain 3 life. Infernal Scarring, 3 mana, enchanted creature, it gets plus 2 plus 0, and when it dies, you draw a card. Swamp, Gravedigger, classic art here. Uh, for mana, 2-2, two, two, and when it enters the battlefield, you may return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Tattered Mummy, 2 mana, 1-2, and when it dies, each opponent loses 2 life. This is not going to make you friends when you play Commander. And it's an exclusive card, number 295. Murder, 3 mana, destroy target creature. Swamp, Bog Stomper, cutest card in the set, perhaps? Six mana for a six five. Swamp, another spores. Swamp, vampire sovereign for five mana. You get a three four. It's a flyer, and when it enters the battlefield, target opponent loses three life, and you gain three life. Swamp, and now here's something funny. Uh, sovereign's bite for two mana. Sorcery target player loses three life. You gain three life. Before and after. Before. And after. Your service shall be rewarded. You have given all to your kingdom, dear knight. Serenity shall be your prize. He got clowned. Swamp, another walking corpse. Swamp, and a grasping scoundrel. A one drop, one one, but when it attacks, it gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. Exclusive card number 312. Next up in black, well the thing here is that it's going to have the same, the exact same black deck that we just saw a moment ago, but it's going to then come with white, which, uh, this is interesting, this is an enemy color pairing. So again, um, when we opened up the black and the blue, those were friendly colors traditionally, now black and white enemy colors. We've already seen what's in these, so no, no need to really open these up again, it's the exact same cards as before. Let's go to red. Here we've got red and blue. So that blue is going to be exactly the same as before. I'm not going to open it, but here's a new one, red. Classic Sheevan Dragon since uh, the first editions of Magic. For six mana, you get a 5-5 five, five flying creature. But then you pay one red mana, and it gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. Exclusive card number 300, rare. Mountain. Cargan Dragon Rider, here's another exclusive card. For two mana, you get a 2-2. Two, two. As long as you control a dragon, Cargan Dragon Rider has flying. So this guy is going to fly on top of the dragon, and it'll get flying. Another exclusive card, number 297. Cool Mountain. Shock for one red mana. It deals two damage to any target. Mountain. Onake Ogre, three mana, you get a 4-2. Mountain, Hostile Minotaur, 4 mana, you get a 3-3 with Haste. Mountain, Lightning Strike, 3 mana, it deals 3 damage to any target. Sorry, 2 mana, it deals 3 damage to anything. Mountain, Radiating Light, for 4 mana, uh, deals 3 damage to target player, and 1 damage to each creature that player controls. Kind of a cool board wipe there. Exclusive card number 313. Mountain... Spark Tongue Dragon, for 5 mana you get a 3-3 three, three flying, and when it enters the battlefield you may pay 2 and a red, 
when you do it deals three damage to any target. Fiery finish, six mana, deals seven damage to target creature. Trumpet blast, three mana, attacking creatures is plus two plus zero until end of turn. Another hostile minotaur, mountain, fire elemental, classic uh, card from back in the beginning of magic. Uh, for five mana, you get a five four. Another Kargan, mountain, 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 electrify. For four mana, deals four damage to target creature. This one looks really nice in foil. Mountain, volcanic dragon. For six mana, you get a four four flying haste creature. Another Onake Ogre, a Mountain, and a Goblin Motivator. For one red mana, you get a 1-1, one, one, but it can then tap and make another creature hasty. And lastly, the green deck. Uh, this will probably be cards that I already opened because, again, there's only five colors in total. Notice there were no artifacts in any of the decks. So we've got a green and a blue. So these are two that I've already opened. I'm not going to open these. They're the exact things we've seen before. So there you go. All of these cards are exclusive. And uh, the only way to get some of them is from these welcome decks only. Some of them are good, some of them are all right, but those are the exclusive cards from the welcome deck, and uh, some of them I really like. If you're a new player, you can get these cards for free at your local game store. After you've played a few games with these basic cards, then you're going to upgrade to a Planeswalker deck, which is a more complex and complete type of deck. Then after that, you make your own decks and get good at magic. But we all got to start somewhere, and I think these welcome decks are a cool way to play. This has been VM Campus. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more magic videos and such. See you next time.